My name is Davida Komar, and I'm one of the presidents of the Stern College for Women Physics Club. Now, today we had a paper airplane competition. So you can ask, well, what's so much physics about paper airplanes? Well, one of the areas of physics is the study of how things move through fluids. In our case, specifically aerodynamics, or the study of the forces, dynamics, as something moves through air, aero. So when you have a paper airplane here, there are four main forces that are working on it. The first one is called gravity. You've probably heard of it before. What gravity does is it's going to pull this down to the ground. Now, gravity d is dependent only on the weight of, our si of the airplane, so there's not much we can necessarily do so much about it. The next force that we have is thrust. Now, the thrust is the forward force that you're giving to it as you throw it through, through the air. So the harder you throw it, the more force it has. But once you let go of it, it doesn't really have more thrust. So it's just going to be relying on gliding. The third force that we have is called drag, which is the air resistance. What's happening is, is that the air molecules are reacting with, as friction, have friction with the molecules of our paper airplane. So what this does is it's go, it slows down the movement of the paper airplane through the air. So in order to combat this, what we have to do is we have to give it a sleep design like this, that if you look at it from the front, you see that there's, you can't really see so much of it. And so what that does is it sleeps so that there's less surface that's going to be hitting the air molecules head on. The fourth force is called lift. What that is is that what happens is there's air pressure that's both on top of the plane and underneath the plane. And so what happens is, is that what we want to do is we want to have more pressure underneath the plane pushing up than we have over the plane pushing down. One of the ways you can do this, if you can see, is that you can make the wings of the airplane curved because most of the air pressure that's happening is from the surface of it that's on the wings. And so what the lift does is it lifts it up and that keeps, helps keep it in the air for longer as it's moving through the air. So using all these forces together, you can design an airplane that's the perfect plane to go the farthest and the longest.